back to the channel. Um, if you're new, I just want to say hello and welcome. So today's video is going to be a rather lengthy supply haul video. So it's um, filming this the day after Christmas. And I've got here a bunch of um, craft supplies that I received for Christmas, along with some things that I purchased in October, November. Um, I don't really usually do haul supply haul videos. And if I do, they're rather small or included in with my other videos. Um, but I was holding off on some things because I knew I was getting things for Christmas. And I figured I would just do a couple of videos, haul videos. So this is going to be the supply haul video. And at the end of the video is going to be the colored pencils. And I just want to let you guys know, I, I, there were a lot of colored pencils that I wanted and I got, um, I got them. So that video, not video, that's going to be included in this video. So hang on to the end so you can see those, or you can go all the way to the end and go backwards. I don't know whatever you guys want to do. However, if the supplies are running long, the pencils will be in another video. So just gauge it from whatever you see in this video and then i'm going to be doing a coloring book haul video and a completed page video and then i'm gonna go uh probably won't be back until january to do the little bit of the giveaway um for those coloring books that i was unstashing um so yeah so let's just dive in okay so i'm trying to organize my supply area um so i'm not unraveling unraveling unwrapping all of these things you're going to see today um <clears throat> taking them out out but maybe I will I don't know we'll see so it just get comfortable guys I don't really know how long this is gonna go all right so first item is I wanted to try out these um spectrum noir classic dual tip permanent markers um these are blend uh, for blendable depth and shade and this is the fair skin tone set and I just wanted to give these guys a try I don't have paper to swatch them out for you here now, um, but this is, um, they come in this little tray. And we have a fine tip. Oh. Okay, so it's going to be one of these. Okay, harder to get on than I thought. And a chisel tip. And this I just wanted because my all the skin tone set of markers that I have they're kind of mixed in with other markers so these are all the colors I guess these guys come in but I just kind of wanted the skin tone set um yeah so at least now I just have a go-to skin tone set and hopefully it will be well like my ohuhus and every um I kind of had the skin tone set, but mixed it in with all my other markers. So yeah, so this is the Spectrum Noir Classic um, Fair Skin. Um, just let you guys know, everything you're going to see here today was purchased on Amazon. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to link everything, but everything was on Amazon. And anything that I hauled from Timu, because there's a small Timu haul here, um, I'll let you guys know that that was Timu. All right, so these are, again, the Spectrum Noir Fair Skin Tone um, Marker Set. The next item um, is the Ohuhu acrylic paint pens. And you guys have seen me use these and you've seen these um, in my acrylic paint pen collection video. I do already have these, but I use them quite frequently and the ones I have are quite old. Well, they're not really old, um, like a year, year and a half, but I use them. And some of them are, are empty and some of them are drying out um, and some of them are just almost empty. So I wanted to get new markers, I mean new set of these guys because I do love them and I use them probably even over the Pintar which I love yeah so these are like one of my top fave and these are just your standard colors your reds your greens your oranges nothing fancy but I enjoy them and these guys do the trick yeah so these are the Ohuhu acrylic paint pens uh, next up, I have an Af Matte ra uh, Electric Eraser. So my other eraser, I had the Derm... Wait, I think? I don't even know. I had an electric eraser, and I dropped it, and it shattered into like a gazillion pieces. So I needed another eraser, so I decided to go with this one. Decided for the Af Matte. Got to put some batteries in that guy. What does it take? It takes two triple A batteries. Is that two? I feel like 
So there's a lot more. Um, comes with a whole pack of these guys. Comes with smaller ones. Comes with a brush. Comes with a little electric eraser instruction booklet. And that's it. So yeah. So I'm going to have this now. So yeah. So this is the electric eraser. Okay. My other one was a thick chunky one. Was it the Derwin? I don't even know. But I wanted to try something different. So now I have this one. It comes with all of these pieces. Jeez Louise. I didn't even realize that. But I guess that's good. And I may even have some left over from my other eraser. <clears throat> which I'm hoping I could still use in here if I have to because it would be such a shame for those to go to waste. But if not, I'll just save them for the day I drop this and it shatters into a million pieces as well. Because <clears throat> I, mean, I am klutzy, but I'm not that klutzy. It just, it just happened. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's 5.30 in the morning, guys, and I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking water. I'm a hot mess over here today. All right, so. It's the Afma Electric Eraser. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this. This is the Instamax Mini 12. This is the Polaroid um, camera. The Fujifilm Polaroid camera. I'm not opening it because I don't want to take this out just yet. But this is exactly what it looks like. And I've got these little film guys. So this is a um, mermaid tail. So I don't know if you could see, but it has like a colored background. Sometimes you can buy these films with like these cool um, themed colored backgrounds. And then this is just your plain um, film. And why I wanted this was because I decided that I wanted, I've seen other people like print out, um, like take pictures of their completed pages and print them out. And I did try and do that last year. And I think I even have that in a haul video, in a, haul video, in a video from like last year where I was trying to do that. Um, but the thing is, I don't, it, it, my printer, it just wastes a lot of ink. Um, and then I'm not the greatest at scaling and making them tiny. So I decided that I wanted this camera also to snap pictures like, you know, just here and there of things too, and not just crafty things. But I figured this would be really great for me to take pictures of my colored pages. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my journal. Um, I'm gonna staple them to my journal because you know, you get like a little extra space and then you have a space where you can write something. So I can write like the medium I used on the bottom of the page. I could write the medium here or the date I did it. and. I'm either gonna put it in my journal um, for the year or I'm going to do a totally separate journal with just completed pages by year. I might be going that way with it um, because I don't really know if I'm gonna keep my journals from year to year, but I do wanna keep my completed page pages. And then I'm gonna make it a little log, like what I used and all that. Um, so that's how I'm gonna tackle um, my completed pages rather than printing them out. Um, because for me, like I said, I don't wanna waste my ink. And this is just better. I mean, waste my ink or buy film. I guess it's the same thing. The only difference is that I use my printer for a lot of other things as well. So I kind of just want to separate the two. Like, you know, use it for my PDF printout and whatever else I need my printer for and then do this. And I wanted this anyway, like I said, to take pictures if I go like on a weekend excursion. You know, just cute little things. You could put them in like a little bullet journal. You could put them in a travel journal. I used to do that. I took this away on a couple vacations, my old camera. Um, it doesn't really work anymore. That's why I wanted a new one. But yeah, you can do a lot of cool, fun things with these with this, guys. And it's kind of, it's not super expensive. Um, I forget, I think it's like $70 maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's not super cheap either, but for the amount of things you can do with it, and it, it, it to me, it's worth it. For me, so that's what I'm gonna. That's my plan for the Fuji film. I think the other one I had was like now they're up to twelve. I don't know. It was so many years ago. 
So yeah, it just wasn't working when I finally pulled it back out. All right, next supply um, is the Jelly Roll Metallic. So I wanted uh, these guys, the, Sac the Sakura Metallics. And I'm not gonna open these because I don't want to, uh, I need to find a home for them with my other ones. So yeah, but I see we have like a, looks like a black, a blue, a green, a red. And then I don't know what that color is. Um, not a pink, maybe an orangey pink. I don't know, but it's maybe, I'm gonna go with like an orangey or brown or something like that. But we'll see when I open them up and get to it. Yeah, so these are the metallics. I really like the Socoras. They're just pricey, so I don't really, I had gone crazy getting them last year, so I have a whole selection of the um, the glaze. I have a selection of the souffle, um, the stardust, you know, all that kind of stuff. But okay, now I have metallics. And then, of course, I needed two more of the black glaze because I go through these guys a lot. Um, I really like the glaze. So it gives it kind of that little pop-up look, the glaze. The black and the clear are my favorites, um, but I think I have a ton of clear, so... I didn't request any of those, but I did want the glaze. All right, next up is another acrylic marker uh, set that I had. I don't know if I can open this. I'm trying. Give me a second, guys. Here, it's the um, Artex acrylic markers. And, um, oh man. Hold on. Go on my teeth. show you guys which ones these are. I'm going to open these guys up for you. So you can see these are another brand that I use a lot and I use it. some of them are drying out. These are the brush tip and <clears throat> this is what it comes with and then here you have your markers and I really like these markers. I really like these brush tip and um, I don't know, I don't really have any other brush tip acrylic paint pens and I don't think I'm going to get any other brush tip acrylic paint pens because I have enough paint pens. But as far as your standard colors goes, these ones I like the best. So that's why I wanted to get these restocked in my collection because um, my blues are running out. I, I use them for backgrounds. I just, I really like these ones, so. I'm happy to have these. And I think these guys I'm gonna keep in their package like this. I'm not gonna put them in, um, I usually put everything in like a pencil case and then store it on the side. I think these guys I'm just gonna keep like this in here. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. So yeah, these are really good, I like those. Okay, next is I needed to get, um, I wanted my super tips, um, I had them and then I moved um, a lot of them. We're, lo we're, lo we're lost. Sorry, guys. Not speaking well this morning. Um, a lot of them were lost. Uh, and it just... <coughs> they're rather inexpensive. They're Crayola. But I like them because they're water-based. And I use these for, like, bases and th in certain books and, and whatnot. Um, they do... They, just because they're water doesn't mean they're not going to bleed through. It always depends on the paper that you're using them on. I know sometimes watermarkers are not supposed to bleed through. These do. So. Excuse me. I need a coffee. Um, Just always test whatever paper you're using with whatever medium you use. Because these have bled through on me. Um, but yeah. And these are the silly scent smash ups. So these are the scented ones. But that's fine. I just needed them for like quick doodles and stuff like that. And also, should my nieces or nephews come over and want to color, these are the guys they'll get. All right, next up is I wanted this. This is a date stamp. And this I am going to take out because the package is already breaking. So I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to take out this little stand. It comes with a cute little stand. Hang on. Okay. And why I wanted a date stamp is because um, I wanted to also stamp 
rather than write the date on the pages I complete, I want to stamp them. So I can stamp the, the bottom of the page or I can stamp the back of the page. And also um, I print, I have a lot of PDF printout books, uh, coloring books that I printed out via PDF and like the Hannah Lynn, um, Amandine Jung, and they have, a, um, I don't know, do you ever see how Hannah Lynn has, I'm going to use her for an example because I think a lot of us have her books or are familiar with them. She has the table of contents in the way that she's got the little the little pictures of ev the little pictures of the pictures that are in the book. So usually I would cross them off as I do them, but now I'm going to stamp them. So and Amandine Jung with a few of her books, she does the same thing. Her freaks book and her pinups, she's got like that little table of contents where there's the small pictures of the pictures in the book. So rather than me crossing them off or checking them as I'm doing them, now I'm going to stamp them with the date that they're done. So, and I could have got a bigger stamp, but like I said, I want to also stamp my pages, the bottom of my pages, um, instead of writing like the dates on them or stamping the back of the pages, wherever there's room for me to put the date that I do them. So I figured this would be perfect and it's like, it comes in this little stand and it can go right on my desk. And I don't know, there is no name on here. This is the name on the box wooden handle base roller yeah there's really no other name on here so but I got this on Amazon I just searched for stamp you know date stamp a library stamp or something like that so that's that so now I have my little stamp um, the next three, four things are from Timu. Um, first thing is a pack of stickers. And which pack did I get? I'm not, uh, once you pull these guys out, you can't put them back in. So I'm just going to pull out a couple. This one is um, the Gothic Crow um, one. I know not everybody's cup of tea. Oh, wow. That's a bonus for me. Actually, this was just a bunch of crows, but they actually have the crow. I'm, I'm a fan of the movie The Crow, the original from the 90s, because one, I was in high school, so it just brings me back. <laughs> um, sentimental. And two, I really love that movie. It's a cult classic, I guess. Um, the original one with Brandon Lee, not the remakes. Um, wow. So I'm excited about that, actually. <laughs> That's like a bonus. I'm so glad I actually just pulled these out to show you guys. The rest are kind of gothic. Um, yeah, like I said, so not everybody's cup of tea. Um, this kind of thing. Now look, now I'm all curious. All right. So yeah. So this was this one pack of stickers. And I use these not necessarily for my coloring journal, um, but maybe for other journals. And just sometimes I just stick things on items in my craft room, you know, sticker boxes and stuff like that. Boxes, I mean, I just put some stickers on. So yeah, I'm gonna put this guy right back here. Nice and nice and gentle, because I really like that one. Okay, that was an extra bonus for me. All right, um, next up, I got this little label. This is another team thing. Sorry for the plasticky sound, guys. Um, I know that bothers some people. Can open this so you gotta apologize my thumbs I have like very bad arthritis in my joints in my hands so it's very hard for me sometimes to do things with my thumbs okay so here we have this little see it says grocery I think it's like a little vintage pack we're gonna open it oh come on <sighs> it was really frustrating when you just can't do easy things that are just e supposed to be easy to do because you're in pain. <laughs> okay. All right, so look at these little stickers. These little vintage grocery stickers. How cute are these guys? Look how tiny they are. They're just like grocery items. 
like vintage grocery things. Super cute, super, super cute. I mean, if you go on Timu and you look up stickers and you look up, you could fall down a rabbit hole, man. I mean, this is what happens when you can't sleep. Um, these, oh, that one's a little messed up. These I purchased, this, um, these weren't given, this wasn't a Christmas haul. Um, this I purchased, I think, last month. So, yeah. Try and get these guys back in this box that I just mutilated. So I'm gonna have to try and store that a little bit better. Okay. All right. Let's put this upright. Uh, next up is. Oh, again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. You know, I really hope I'm not getting sick. My husband. I don't know how everybody's holiday was, but my husband came home with COVID on Christmas, the day before Christmas Eve. So we didn't get to see anybody on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day like planned. And now I just have a tickle, so I hope it's just a tickle and I'm not getting anything else. Um, yeah. So this is also from Timu. So this is um, just, I think it's like a butter, it's a sticker pack. And I should pull out some of these guys. They come in, oh look, they're all packed in this. So they just clear stickers. That I absolutely love these guys. I mean, I love these stickers. See, it's mushrooms. Um, here we have some, sorry for the glare. It's just really hard to not have a glare on these. Yeah, butterflies, flowers. These are so pretty. I absolutely love these kind of stickers. They have so many on Timo. So, you know, like I said, you could really fall down a rabbit hole. But at the end of the day, how many stickers do I really need? So I just wanted to kind of cover all the little things that I might want. Do you want to try and journal a little bit? So this year it's going to be hard for me because there's a lot of crafty things I want to start doing. Coloring is my main thing and I love coloring. So I don't think I'll ever, ever stop. But I want to, you know, tr I don't have a lot of time. So even trying to focus on one other thing takes a lot of time away from me. I mean, I didn't even color that much in December because I was too busy trying to organize journals and swatches and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. All right. So this is from Timu. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, here, here's all the images on the back. So we've got butterflies and mushrooms, flowers. Yeah. All right. So that's another T. That's from Timu. Um, the other thing I thought was from Timu actually isn't. This is from I saw this ad on Instagram of all places. And you know you don't got to be careful with what products you see with ads and stuff like that. But this is actually. The one that they, that I wanted, the gothic package, they were sold out of. And, you know, because I'm too impatient to wait, I decided to get the butterfly. So this is paint gems, and these is, this is actually diamond painting stuff. So this, this is, comes in this box, it gives you your stickers to put them in the, to put on the baggies, on baggies for your, you know, things. And then this is the size of the diamond paintings. And this is the butterfly package. So it's just these little itty bitty images and this is butterflies. And the reason that I got the butterflies was because the gothic package, oops, sorry, I just shook the camera, was no longer available. But I thought that would be really cute. Quick little thing. Comes with this little package, packet here, satchel. And inside we have, you have your paint, your um, tray to hold your diamonds. Comes with a, st a stick, which is, you get your little grippy 
for your stick. You get tweezers. You get a multi-placer. And a little gem. I mean gem. A little wax. Now I do diamond paint. I haven't in a while. I have a ton of diamond paintings. And I just ordered because Diamond Art Club had a sale. And I need to put some things on my walls in my new home. So um, I found two really cute um, cat ones that I wanted. One for my bedroom and one for my living room. So I ordered those. So I'm going to be diamond painting this year because I need to, I want to frame them and put those two up on my wall. And I'm not going to open these, but here are all your colors for your gems. And this is the mini 24 and this is the butterfly. Yeah, so I'm kind of excited to do that too. And you can find it he here, paintgem.com, if you're interested. And it came really quickly and it really good. I'm, I am going to keep looking to see if that gothic one comes back in stock, but... Mm. Sorry, I need my coffee. If it doesn't, so be it. Like I said, I have to do, I have, I bought those two big ones. They're going to take a lot of time up and they have a purpose. They're going on my walls. All right. Next up um, is this little CSY paint. I wanted this little watercolor paint. Comes in this little tin box. Open it. Get rid of that so my cat don't eat it. And these are like a gemmy colors, I believe. We'll open them and see because I don't even remember. Sky blue. I think this might be water actually. This one is inference green. Okay, so this is like your pearlesque um, water colors, like ocean colors. I thought it would be nice if I'm doing oceans or seas. Um, just to show you guys a little bit. This is the kind of sound that wakes up your cat. <laughs> she comes, she's waiting for her to come running over to see what I'm doing. So I like these CSYs. I have another set. I think I have a gold set. And I like that they come in this little box. I'm just going to keep this back in here for now. So it comes in. Now the reason I wanted this was because I did purchase a coloring book that I want to follow some color alongs with and I noticed that they use oh that's what these are. they use a lot of um watercolor paint so I have the Gansey Tambi um but I just wanted some of these and also like I said if I'm doing ocean scenes or anything that that would be pretty oh I should put this in here since I this box is falling apart all right, next up, Arteza. These are white. I just wanted some white gel pens. Oh, I'm not in my craft room, so I don't have a scissor or an exacto knife. I use a teeth in my hand for opening this stuff. Um, this is just um, Arteza white paint pens. Um, nothing fancy. I go through white paint pens like crazy. So, and I happen to like this brand, this one. Just, yeah, so. I want to have these guys. Now I have a set of 12. So this should keep me busy for a while. Uh, next up, if I could open it, 
I decided to give these a try. All right, so I know if you saw me just 10 minutes ago, I was showing you the Artex brush markers. Ugh, man, the acrylic paint markers. Um, and I was like, oh, I have these, and you know, these are the only brush markers. Well, I guess I lied because I forgot I asked for these. These are kind of fairly on the newer side. Tuli Art came out with brush pens. And I wanted, I, I'm not going to open this up because it's sealed. I don't have anything to open it. And I'm just not. Um, but they came out with brush pens. And I wanted to give it a try. Because I do like them. And I remember one of my videos when I was doing the video of the paint pens. I was like, their paint, their stuff dries out so quickly. It annoys me. They should come out with brush tip. And then, spoiler, th it, it, they did. So... Here they are. I wanted to give it a try. These are just your standard colors right here. Um, it's just your, you know, regular color package. Um, no shaking and priming required because they're brush tip. They're one to seven width. 36 colors. I really should just open these guys to show you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm going to grab a scissor. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Here we go. It's typical Thule art. They're giving, oh, look, they're going to give you some extra brush nibs. If you're not familiar with Truly Art, they number, every pack has a number. They sell packs with colors. They have gray, they have a box of grays, a box of greens. And every color, every box is numbered. So you will have repeated, repeated numbers. Um, that's why you should swatch them out by, however, like, you know, by box. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Oh, very nice. Oh, guys, I am so excited. Oh. This is exciting. This is super, super exciting. Do I have a new favorite? Oh, I don't know. And look, they give you two whites. And two blacks. All right, so I'm kind of really excited about this, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is going to be good. I don't know if they start selling brush tip and packs, like the color packs, then I'm going to go broke. I think I really like this. All right, we'll see. I'm going to have to do a test between these and the Artex and see which ones I like better. So maybe that'll be a video for another day. All right, next up, like I said, I'm going to start doing a lot of work in a, um, one of my Hannah Carlson books that I'm um, going to follow some color alongs, and sometimes they use um, watercolors, so I just wanted to get a set of watercolor brushes um, so that I have them. This is Golden Maple. This is just, I just grab this off online, size, these are the sizes. I'm not a water, watercolor painter. I don't need the best of anything. This is just to do some backgrounds in some coloring books. So I just wanted to grab some of those. <clears throat> okay, next we have a journal. This is just a journal book. six ring binder just so that I could box some stuff comes with some paper you could really put any paper that fits a six ring binder but I really like this binder this is more like list format um, I'm not sure how much I mean what I'll use this for I may just put in some bullet page bullet pages or I may put in some regular ruled line pages um, but yeah I just wanted this 
a little pen holder. So very excited about that. Uh, next, I ordered a pack of the folders that I keep all my PDFs in. This is quite a popular brand. And these are the, this is what they are. There's going to be a glare, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you guys. This is the presentation book, the, the Dunwell. This comes in a pack of four, and this is the 24 pocket. And they're pretty much, they're bounded in. So 24 pockets, and if you use front and back, you're getting like almost 50 per book, which is perfect. What is that? Something fell and it was like a piece of metal and I need to find it. <sighs> Cause, ah, okay. I don't know this thing, you see that? I don't know where that came from, but I have a cat and that's a no-no. Hang on, I gotta throw that away. All right, right in the garbage, that goes. Yes, that I'm not taking no chances. Okay, so those are the 24 pack. And I also purchased well, I didn't purchase. These are gifts. <laughs> um, the only thing I purchased was the Timu. Um, is the same, the Dunwell, the same thing, only this is 60 pockets. So that's 120. And I can put some larger book, PDF books in that. So I'm excited about that. All right. What else do we have? Let's take some coffee. We are 36 minutes in. All right, guys, I'm putting the pencils in. Oh, and this is the Dunwell. They come in all these sizes. I thought I purchased... I'm going to try one of these other sizes, these odd sizes, for my Beauty Horror book by Alan Roberts that fell apart. I have it in a regular photo album. But the photo album is very cumbersome. It's just big and chunky. And I love the way it looks. I mean, it's beautiful, like a reddish fitting for a horror book. But it just doesn't really fit on my bookshelf. So I'm going to try. I'm actually going to keep this out. I'm going to try going on Amazon and grabbing one of those odd-shaped ones and seeing if I can get it in. All right. All right, guys. So here we're going to go. We're going to dive into the color pencils. And I want to explain... I love my Prismacolors. I use the majority of them. I have a ton of colored pencils. Like, I have so many colored pencils. And a lot of colored pencils I'm finding, they're just kind of knockoffs of other colored pencils. So after these that I've just gotten, I am pretty much done with colored pencils. I'm going to use a different pencil in every month, two maybe different kinds. Yeah, I'm just going to try and use all different kinds of colored pencils going forward and my colorings and test them out and I want to master colored pencils I know that sounds crazy so I have colored pencils that I don't particularly use well and then I watch a video of someone who makes magic with them and I'm like I need to master the pencil I need to figure out how to use the pencil according to how I color like my hand is heavy or my hand is light. Like I need to figure it out and that's what I plan to do because I have a lot of pencils <coughs> and I want to I want to use them. All right. So, this is a new pencil case. I took my pencils, I already swatched them. I spent all day yesterday swatching. I absolutely hate swatching pencils. Hate them and I won't do a video of me swatching them because I have a potty mouth and cuz I hate it so much. I just saying bad words halfway through all my swatching so you'll never see me doing a video on that I wouldn't put you guys through that subject you to that um yeah so I put them in my pencil cases so this is a new pencil case this is a 72 pencil case it's a smaller one um, I have a, a bigger size one this one is a new one too and you can see this is just it's oh god you can't really see let me just show you it's just like tinier just tinier right. so here we have the small pencil case i put these little tabs on it and i write the name of the pencil that way when they're on my shelf i know what's in here and these are da, 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 ship and farben all right i wanted these pencils so bad 
for so long. I only purchased the seven. Well, again, I didn't purchase. This was a gift. The 72 set. I think there's a 96. I did not know that. I went on to Etsy from Becky's DIY color shot charts and Etsy.com. That's where I get most of my things or a tailored image. I'll try and link those, put those shops in the description. So this was the Sherpa Farben 96. I didn't purchase 96. As you can see, I'm missing some colors. So um, it's fine. I actually really like this. Down the line, perhaps I'll purchase the 96 just to have backup pencils. Um, because I, I really, I started using these in a book and I really love them. So I'm definitely going to want to make sure I have a backup set, but not right now. And then I just kind of keep, I used to keep my colored, my swatches in their own little book, but you know what? It's just too much if I'm taking my pencils and my coloring book and I'm not at my desk um, to wherever I'm sitting. So I just stick the swatch in the book. Since this is a tiny book, I'm leaving it like that. Um, I could fold it in fours, but I don't want to. Uh, but yeah, usually they just fit nicely in the in the pencil case. But since this is a tiny one, it's going to stick out a little bit. Yeah, so I'm super excited about this. I actually should have did it the other way. Hold on. Take this. All right, whatever. That's, that's for my brain to figure out another time. Maybe I'll hang this somewhere else. Okay, so yeah. So that are my Sherpin Farben, and I'm super excited about that. Oh my gosh, so happy I got those pencils. Really wanted those. Okay, next up, I wanted to try the Evazar London. I keep hearing th good things about them, and I wanted to give this a try. Oops, there go my pen, my, oh, my watercolor brushes. These come in their own pencil case. Now, I like the pencil cases like I just showed you where each you have individual zippers. This is just all in one big pack. Like this, and I don't like that because I'm rough and I bang them. I don't like that. So I did order another pencil case for these guys. Um, these are 130 pencils. So I did not have a, I had to order a larger book and then again these I printed out from a tailored image Etsy um, thank you to these people who create these sheets I love you you just help me out so much and here are the colors I really like the purple range This is what the pencil looks like. Now, I swatch them. And my opinion, now look, these are only swatching and you can't tell to you color. They remind me of Arteza and Marcard. They kind of have that feel. And I love my Arteza and I love my Marcard. Marcard pencils, I love them. So I'm not upset. I'm going to color a page with them in January and really give it the test and then compare it to one of those pencils to see how much alike or dislike they are. But that's kind of how the feeling is. And what I like about these is sometimes these are swatched in kind of like, a, like an order where sometimes the pencils aren't put in that order. So I kind of like that about these Um swatch sheets not all of them are like that but sometimes they are and they're much better swatched out than I would do it I'm very bad at that stuff like putting them in color family order but you know you can find that everywhere yeah so these are the Evazar London and I have ordered my own case for it because I like this case um but it does come in a case <coughs> a zip case which is great that's a big plus all right, what's next? All right, next up, I purchased this case. This is, well, I, again, I keep saying I purchased gifts. When I ordered the, when I requested the pencils, I requested a case to go with them. Because um, I don't like the tins. So, 
And these are Artisto, 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 however you want to say it. And we have here, I put the pencils in backwards. Shame, shame. I think I put them in backwards. I don't really know. No, maybe I didn't. I thought there was a case I did. Whatever. And I couldn't find a swatch. So I had to print out a blank one. Um, and I don't care if I missed it. I ain't going back and doing this crap again. I hate this shit. Um, all right. So here. A 72 set. So these pencils come with a letter. A letter, a number, and a name. I love when pencils have names. I love it. And they are, let's pull out one of these guys. I didn't even sharpen these ones because I was done. This was like the last one I swatched and I had had enough. So you have the name, the company, and then you have me dropping it. And then you have royal purple and the number. So you have the name and the number. And these guys remind me of Pablo's. Now, whether or not they're as good as the Pablo's, I have no idea because I didn't color a page in them. But they feel and they're shaped like the Pablo's. So if you like that way the Pablo's are shaped, and then this kind of is like that. How they color, don't know. I didn't color yet with them, but I will. I have a small set of Pablo's. I don't think they're going to match. They're going to color like Pablo's. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, you're talking about a really expensive pencil brand to a budget pencil brand. Um, but I'm going to give these guys a try. I kind of, they kind of swatched really well. Nothing was scratchy. I mean, you know, uh, I, color range, not crazy about it. They're not giving you a lot, you know. You have a decent amount of blues. I don't really care for the greens. I feel like there should be more mid-tone greens. These three are kind of alike. The grays, I think, could be a little different. And I'm not crazy about the colors, the range. Like, what they give you for each color. Purples are, like, non-existent. Um, but we'll give it a try. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll do some comparison videos with pencils. I did get The Small Victories by Joanna Basford, and I kind of feel like that is the best book to do videos with. I've seen people do videos. I feel like you can do different pencil brands with the little images, so I'm going to use that for that. All right, so I want to tell you guys a little bit about this. This is my pencil case, a uh, new pencil case. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we know that there is a ton of colored pencils out there. We know there's a ton of brands, and we know... Or maybe you don't know. Some of them are just the same pencil rebranded as another name. And I know they those exist. And I'm sure I've got a bunch of them already sitting on my shelf. Well, this, for those of you who don't know or know and aren't sure which brands they are like that, this is going to be, this is going to show you. Here's a brand of pencils I have. Here's another brand of pencils I just purchased. These are the Brufener Oily, the 120. These are the square barrel. I left these in the case because I do not have another case for these because I messed up. These are supposed to go in here. I was swatching the wrong pencil when I discovered what I discovered. These are the square. I love Brufener. I'm just letting you guys know. I have the round one barrel and I wanted the square barrel. So I purchased the squares. I hate the smell drives me crazy so these are staying in here for now when I get a case I will put these in a case and swatch them out I only wanted the 120 I can't even fathom 520 or whatever it comes in or cool or has like that I don't know so these are the Brufener right and then I printed out the swatch chart for the Brufener I printed out my swatch chart for all of these pencils I'm showing you today like I said, off those Etsy shops, Becky D, D, do it yourself DIY coloring or a tailored image. Print it out here. I'm gonna hide this right now. I don't want you to see the name yet. And this was this is the Brufener. This is the Brufener. So here's another thing too. Brufener is very confusing. 
you have Brufferner Round, Brufferner Oily. These say Brufferner Oily co oily Colored Pencils. I don't know. Sometimes you got to look. They, they'll post their swatches as square barrel, round barrel, oily. You know, what I try and do is I try and they hide the image, I guess, so people can't steal it. But I try and look to get at least one name of a pencil. And then I look for that color in the stack to see because a lot of these brands if they have a different version pencil they have a totally different n name and number so i try and make sure that it's like if it's a yellow it says like if i could see lemon yellow in a letter i'll look in the pack for like that color just to see if it's the same so i know if that sheet's gonna work for me so i was like all right i'm gonna swatch out my burfiner and i put them i grabbed them i started putting them in this case tell me when you see it they were all matching up. This is Brufiner. These are Sioux Color. I was swatching the wrong pencils, but I didn't know because the names and the numbers match up perfectly. So for those of you that know these kind of things exist out there, I knew they existed. I just wasn't sure of which brand was which and which brand was like that. Now you know. So this is a Brufiner. I had to cross out the name. I had to write suit color 180. And the numbers are different. Are uh, the same. Some of them, like this one here, this number, this is Brufiner, and this says 175, 183. So I don't really know what that means because I wasn't watching Brufiner. Um, I have to get, I'll have to print out a new one and do the hunt, the rat, but I don't have to look at the square ones. <clears throat> I didn't notice it until I was halfway through that I was swatching Sioux Color on Brufiner. Everything matched up. As you can see, some of these Sioux Colors were not listed because this is Brufiner. This is not Sioux Color. If you think I'm doing this again on Sioux Color, you're all out of your mind. No effing way. I'm done swatching. Done. Um, so, yeah. So, I just wrote the number down, like Carmine Red in the column where I think it should go. It'll work for me. It's fine. Calling it a day. Here are my two colors. And I gotta tell you, I love them. Now I have the Brufin around, so it's probably the same crap. Don't care. They're similar. If they're all similar in colors, that means I just have backups because I don't, the only thing I hate about these kind of sets is that you can't purchase individual pencils. Sometimes they, you know, uh, first of all, I sharpened all these and everything was great. Nothing broke, no breakage, no fine, no sharpening. These pencils are amazing. They're, I love, I'm glad I have these. I don't care if they're like the Brufiner. I don't care if they're like the round barrels that I have. I don't care if they're going to be like the square barrel. The name, I, I don't care because now I have backups to certain colors or similar colors, and I'm good with that. But for those of you who don't want to waste your money, Sioux Color and Brufiners, they're kind of the same. So for those of you who didn't know which pencils were which, these matched up absolutely perfect. Like perfect. Like every the number and the name. So I'm just letting you guys know that I love this pencil case. All pen these pencil cases I purchased on Amazon, and the way I do it is I just type in um, the number of pencils and color pencil case and then they pop up and then usually if you select one they have underneath they have different um versions of that same one so i just look to see which ones um i like i really only like certain ones so i'm starting to get duplicates um <laughs> but i don't have have the daisy one so i'm kind of happy about that i think i have that little 72 one i showed you where the sheeper sheeper farben are in um, I actually have another piece just like that. Where are my Pablo there? So yeah, so those, these are the suit colors. But I absolutely love the way those lay down. I love the way the Brufiners lay down. So I'm not sad at all. These are my Brufiner squares I just showed you guys. So now I have the square barrel. And then last but not least. Oops, sorry, making a mess. I wanted the Marco Raffines. And this is the Marco 80 Colors Tribute Master Collection. It comes in this beautiful box, which is where it is staying. And it will go on my bookshelf. As is. 
they come in color family order so you see you're getting one two three four five six seven eight and there's 10 in each so you get 80 pencils this is the tribute master collection so basically let's open this one again this little box it opens Claude Monet this is going to tell you a little bit about the the artist the map you know who these are all each one is gives you information on a specific artist from a time period which I think is pretty cool if you're into that stuff then it's going to tell you all the colors here the number of the pencil and here you go and these are lovely I like them they weren't super expensive I think they were probably about as much as actually I don't know because I actually got them on sale put them on my list when they were on sale so I don't know but I'll have to look but yeah these are on Amazon you get the name the number they're thick they're round they're nice thick they're they I like the way they feel they feel good they're not flimsy I like them nice strong pencil now they lay down soft though so you gotta be careful but very nice I mean I these are just perfect amount of color I like that they're all in the box I'm not putting these guys in a pencil case these guys will stay just like this in their individual boxes this one is Paul Cezanne I think there's a pencil brand that's a pencil brand right I don't know where that's who's that pencil brand is named from I won't be buying it though I am good with pencils forever These are really nice. I really like these pencil size. And I like the way they lay down when I swatch them. So I can't wait to color a page. And I just thought it looked pretty. So yeah. So those are my... And you can see here it's like Monet. They give you all the names of the artists that they're telling you about. Why it's called the Master's Collection. Maybe that's why it's also a little more money. I believe you can get these pencils not so fancy. Here's a swatch chart. And it's just sticking it right in between here. And that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know there's a lot of supplies um but i do use i do use my supplies um there are supplies that i don't use and i need to haul, unhaul those as well um because there are things i use more than others and those are the things now going forward i don't usually haul supplies so and colored pencils i'm done I'm done with my color pencil collection. Um, I just like having pencils. Um, yeah, and I plan to use them all. And you will see that going forward for, on the channel. So they're gonna be used for the channel. Um, anyway, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everyone had a great holiday. Um, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.